Okay, we are to the third session of this paper. We are the ninth question of this June 2020 variant B1. Ajay, but your question number nine is about the vectors. Okay, so let's start this without wasting any time here. It says with respect to the origin O, the vertices of the triangle ABC are position vectors. This is this. So let's draw the triangle quickly. This, this, and then you have this. We have a triangle here. Okay. So let me call this A, this is your B, this is your C, okay? Now you have A as 2i plus 5k. Let me write this as a matrix, 2, 0, 5. You have B as 3, 2, 3. This is 3, 2, 3, okay? And then C is 1, 1, 1, okay? This is 1, 1, 1. It says use a scalar product to show that uh, angle ABC is a right angle. Angle ABC, okay, this angle has to be a right angle. So I need BA and BC for this purpose. So your BA is going to be OA minus OB. Let's do that quickly, OA minus OB. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. 0 minus 2 is minus 2. And 5 minus 3 is 2. That is your BA. And then let's have BC. This BC is going to be OC minus OB. So this is one minus three is minus two, one minus two is minus one, one minus three is minus two. This is your BC. If you want, you can um, simplify these directions, but chalo chodo, let's simply find BA dot BC. Now this should be zero if this is a right angle. So let's write this as minus one, minus two, two, dot, minus two, minus one, minus two. So minus one dot minus two is two. This is gonna be plus two, and this is minus four, and that is equal to zero. This means, this implies that angle ABC is a right angle, okay? Now let's move to the B part quickly. Show that triangle ABC is isosceles triangle. Achha. Now you know that this is a right angle over here. There are two marks, okay? So if you just show that this angle or this angle is 45 degrees, because obviously if it is an isosceles triangle, ABC is isosceles, we have determined that this is a right angle and you can't have two right angles in a triangle. So one of these has to be 45 degrees, okay? So uh, let's find AC then, okay? So AC is going to be OC minus OA. So this is going to be one minus two is minus one. This is one, this is minus four. I'm going to find this angle A. So I would be needing this vector and this vector, okay? So uh, I have AC. So I need AB. So this AB would be, look at this AB. I need to change the signs here. This is gonna be one, two, minus two. So let's find this angle A. So cos of angle A is going to be, now this should be one over under root two because we know that cos 45 is uh, one over under root two. So let's see that if we really get that. Okay, now this is, um, minus one, one, minus four, dot, one, two, minus two, over the square root of one plus one plus 16, and this is one plus four plus four. I am using here the formula that cos theta is equal to A dot B over the magnitude of A into the magnitude of B, okay? So this is going to be minus one plus two, plus a over under root of 18 times under root nine. Now this is uh, nine over, nine over. Now this is three under root two and this one is three. So you see that we get one over under root two. So this means that this angle is 45 degrees and this is also going to be 45 degrees. So this shows that this is an isosceles triangle. Okay, you have to write that in appropriate, in appropriate
have done here. Okay, so I'm moving towards the C part. Find the exact length of the perpendicular from O to the line O, B, and C. From O, okay, from O to the line O, B, and C. Okay, uh, I need to clear the areas here. Okay, so I would be doing this here. Okay. This here, I I needed B C. So This is. Let me clear all of this. Yeah, let me clear all of this. I just need to have the points B and C. Can someone tell me what was the point B? What is O B, and what is O C? B. Where is this? Yeah. Okay. This OB is 3, 2, 3. And OC is 1, 1, 1. Okay, going to the C part. Okay. It says, find the exact length of the perpendicular from O to the line through B and C. So we have a line. This is the line BC. Okay, and here is a point O. So we have to find this. Let me call this point as X. Okay. So we have to find this length OX, that is the perpendicular from O to this BC. Remember, you have to have the equation of BC first of all. I'll be writing that quickly. R is equal to A plus lambda B. So R is equal to, I'm using this 1, 1, 1 as my A plus lambda into 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 1 is 2. This is the equation of this line BC. This means we can say that this point X is going to be 1 plus 2 lambda. This is 1 plus lambda. And this is 1 plus 2 lambda. Okay. So this is your, and this is 0, 0, 0. And the same can be used to determine OX, the direction vector. And this will be 1 plus 2 lambda, 1 plus lambda, 1 plus 2 lambda. Okay. Now this is one direction OX and there is another direction, this two, one, two. Their dot product has to be zero because they're at right angles to each other. So let's do that, two, one, two. Guys, if you have any question, please let me know. We have done this and you might have forgotten it. So this is going to be equal to zero. So this is two plus four lambda plus one plus lambda plus two plus four lambda that is equal to zero. And this is going to be four, five, nine lambda. And this is uh, two plus one is, so two, three plus one is five. Okay, that is equal to zero. I'm getting a very weird value of lambda that is minus five over nine. Please have a look at this if there is any careless mistake. So this lambda is correctly minus five over nine. You put that into OX because you have to find the length of OX. You will be getting a very weird kind of this OX. That is one minus 10 over nine. One minus five over nine. One minus 10 over nine, okay? This is your OX and you get it as uh, minus 1 over 9, this is 4 over 9, and this is minus 1 over 9, okay? So we need the length, you need to find the magnitude, okay? So this is 1 plus 16 plus 1 over 81. That is 18 over 81. That is 2 over 9. And it is 1 over 3 under 2. That is your OX. That is your OX. Should I check? Yeah, that is 1 over 3 under 2. Okay, that's great. Okay, but so pooch slow if there is any question. Yeah. Okay, the last question of this paper. 
it says the complex number u is this, this, this. Express u is in the Cartesian form. This is the Cartesian form here in terms of a. So without wasting any time, you go on to realize the denominator, okay? So this is a minus two iota over a minus two iota. So this is uh, three a iota minus six iota squared. And here you have a squared plus four. Remember a plus iota b into a minus iota b is a squared plus b squared. So I'm writing it like this. Now this is going to be, you know that iota squared is minus one. So this becomes six plus three a iota. And you have to split them like this, a squared plus four, a squared plus four. That is the answer to this first part. Okay, let's see what is the B part. Find the exact value of A for which argument of U star is pi by three. Okay, now argument of U star, if your U is this, then your U star is gonna be six over A squared plus four minus three A over a squared plus four iota. Okay, it says that is uh, pi by three. This is pi by three, okay. Now one thing is that I know that this a has to be a negative value because pi by three is going to be in the first quadrant. And in that first quadrant, both the, um, the real and the imaginary parts, they, they are going to be positive, okay. So that means this, tan inverse of this minus 3a over a square plus 4 over 6 over a square plus 4 is going to be equal to pi by 3. Okay, this is cancelled by this. So you have minus 3a over 6, that is tan pi by 3. So you know what is tan pi by 3? Hmm? I think that is under root three, Anna. that is under root three. So this is one czar, two czar. So this A is going to be minus two under root three. Let's check the answer. Uh, yeah, this is the answer here, minus two under root three. So we are the winners again, Alhamdulillah. So this is your A minus two under root three. But so I'm stopping here. Please move slow if there is any problem. So guys, they are saying that it's clear. We move to the B part, okay. It says on a sketch of an organ diagram, shade the region whose points represent complex numbers, blah, 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 okay. And at the end, it says calculate the least value for argument of C. So that means we need to draw that very carefully using a scale. So, but so let's use a scale and you also do that with me, okay? So let's take a scale here and draw this, okay? And here it is going to be, okay, I can go up to this part here, okay? And I have to be very precise with the scale here. So this is, I have to go up to twos. There are twos, okay? One, two, I'm taking this up to four here, okay? And then one, two. So I have labeled all of them. Now, the first thing is it says um, Z minus two iota is less than Z minus one minus iota. So, but you, you need to write it in this form Z minus zero plus two iota is less than or equal to z minus one plus one iota. One plus iota, in fact, one plus iota. Uh, one plus iota. So this is the situation where you basically go for the perpendicular bisector. Like if this is the point A and this is the point B. So first of all, you must see that there has to be a perpendicular bisector. Let me mark this zero plus two iota. Here is this zero plus two iota. Let me call this point A and then one plus one. This is one plus one here. Okay, 
So this is your D, okay? And I have to draw the perpendicular bisector. Let's have an imaginary kind of a square over here, okay? Like this, because the perpendicular bisector has to be going like this, okay? It will pass through this point, through this point, and through this point, okay? So taking the line option, I'll draw that. You can see that this is, guys, you have to show this passing through the point one zero, the point one two, the point minus one zero. This is what uh, will force the examiner to give you the marks, okay? And then there is Z minus two. This thing has also to be written in the uh, appropriate manner. This is minus two plus iota that is less than or equal to two. Now, this is referring to a circle whose center is this two plus iota. Two plus iota is here. Here is the center of the circle and the radius is two. So that means two steps to the left, two steps to the right, two steps, sorry, up, right, and two steps down. You should have marked these points that your circle is going to pass through these points, okay? Yeah, yeah. So they don't try to draw a perfect circle over here, okay? The thing is, it has to be passing through these points here. Okay, and then, oh. This is the end of the day and please forgive me for not drawing that good circle here, okay? So I can remove this part, remove this part. Okay, so here is the circle that it, as it goes. Okay, so this is the circle here, okay? And we have to keep that this solid. Now it says it is nearer to this A, okay? Than to this B and is inside the circle. So guys, this is the shaded part. This will be our shaded part. Okay? This is the part, the, I mean, the locus of Z. It says calculate the, the least value of argument of Z. The least value of argument of Z. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where do you think you have the maximum argument of Z? Mm -hmm. But so where is the maximum argument? that would be at this point and that will be pi by two. Here is the maximum argument, okay? And to see the least argument, you will have to draw a tangent, okay, like this. So here is the tangent and now I have to see that what is this point, okay? So I can draw a line here, this is the tangent here and now we can determine this angle. My mistake, no one, Notice that I'm going in the unshaded area AR. I have to find that Z in this shaded area. So I think the least um, argument is going to be at this point, at this point. Here it is. And you know, fortunately we have marked this point and we know that this point is two comma three. This point is two comma three. Now this happens if you draw your diagram accurately. So you don't have to do anything, just find this angle. You have this two comma three. So the least uh, value of argument Z is going to be, this argument of Z is going to be tan inverse of three over two. Can you find that? Let me see if I'm doing that correctly. Tan inverse, yes, that is two plus three iota. So this is 56.3 degrees. God, this is 56.3 degrees. Guys, I was going into the unshaded part. I had to focus on this shaded part here, okay? If he had asked you the greatest argument, that would be here, and that would be pi by 2, 90 degrees. But this is the point here where you, you can have the least angle, least argument, which is going to be 56.3, and this ends our paper here.